the Teams tip, uh, and this one is about a new feature that's just uh, been released in the past few days from uh, Microsoft Teams, which allows us to have a virtual background in our meetings. Uh, to give you an idea of what that looks like, I can just jump into a meet now, uh, click on to meet now here, and if I go into here, I've got an option to show background effects. It starts off with none. You've all probably seen blur before, which is the, the, the one that was provided by default uh, not that long ago. But they've added these extra ones now, and you can say, oh, I'd like to have some balloons in the background, or I'd like to have a classroom setting, uh, maybe a Minecraft background. Uh, here's something from Obsidian. So just a whole bunch of backgrounds that they've given you. But um, what they haven't released yet, and I believe it's coming soon, is an option to use your own custom image in the background. So what I'm going to do is show you how you can achieve that. So I'm going to hang up from here. I'm going to minimize uh, Teams. And what I've got, here's, um, here's a background that I've prepared. Uh, it's the Game of Thrones throne. I've got it as full HD, so it's 1920 by 1080 resolution, and it's a JPEG file. So that's the sort of um, screen that you need to have, 1920 by 1080 resolution, and um, saved as a JPEG file. I believe you can also save it as a PNG file. So where do you put it? You jump into uh, My Computer, Windows Explorer, whatever you want to call it these days, and what we need to do is go into the C drive, into users. There'll be a profile for your user, whatever you log on as. So I'm here as S. Hasek. And in here, there's a whole lot of stuff that's in my profile. But what's actually missing from here is a whole bunch of hidden folders. So you need to click on view up the top here, show hidden items. And the one we want is called app data. And then in app data, you need to go into the roaming profile. You need to go into Microsoft, not Microsoft Teams, but Microsoft, and then Teams. And then you've got a folder in here called Backgrounds. And this is where all the backgrounds live that you saw previously. But in here also is a folder called Uploads. And Uploads is the place that you want to put your pictures in. So I've got four different high, full high definition pictures that I'll just drop into that folder. They are there now. I can put that away, jump back to Teams, and if I start a new meeting and go Meet Now, again, it always starts with no background, but what we can do is click on to show background effects. We see all the ones that we saw before, but down the bottom, there are also these new ones. So I've got Throne and Apply That. So here I am uh, with the Iron Throne behind me. Uh, or I could go bathroom. You may recognize this bathroom. Uh, here are my friends. And here is a house that you might recognize. You may notice that this is actually a mirror image for the person who is presenting. But when the people see it on the other side, it's flipped for them. So it flips it so this is uh, the same as my left hand that's showing here, uh, and this is my right hand, but when somebody is in the meeting and participating in the meeting, they'll see that flipped around. So this Brady Bunch house that you're seeing here, the stairs should be on this side. Uh, they will actually show on that side for them. Hope that was of interest. Uh, another quick little video, and uh, here's a trick that you can add to your team's repertoire.